Your Worship, ladies and gentlemen, winners, leaders. I must say, after introductions, I normally say I wish my parents were still alive because my father would really enjoy the introductions and my mother would believe them. <laughs> Anything to keep working for him. So that's what leadership is to me. When you can generate that type of loyalty and commitment, you've got to be doing something right. So what's my definition of leadership? It's not like most people's. My definition of leadership is getting people to do what they don't necessarily want to do and have them enjoy the experience. Because any idiot can lead in good times. When the market's booming and business is great and everybody in the world wants to move to Burlington, I mean, put a monkey in charge. <laughs> no, I'm serious, because presumably that's not the case, because there are some other centers around the world where businesses are existing. I'm just saying when everything's going really well, you don't need a leader. The problem is you need them in times of crisis and challenge. And that seems to be a perpetual state for us these days. And so, number three. Took me 20 years, I swear the truth, took me 20 years to listen. I was always getting ready to respond. I knew more about the subject than the guy who was talking to me or the gal. Terrible shock about 15 years ago, maybe it's a little longer now, to discover when I started paying attention, at least half the people were smarter than I was, had a lot of great ideas. The good news was when I gave them credit for their ideas publicly, I still was associated with the idea. So I got a three-way win here. They got credit, I got credit, and the organization got better. Say, hey, General, how's the motor racing going? And within about a minute, I'm discovering what they really think about the organization. What I'm saying is that if you need to know anything about your people you work with and you're trying to motivate, know their passion. It's been mentioned earlier today. Uh, know their pa What makes them tick? Everything, anything between gardening and free fall parachuting. But know what it is because that's the window. That's the way to get inside and find out what they're really thinking. Courage. Not courage to be first up the hill, not courage to be first across the bridge, courage to disagree. Love my last job, big staff, 16,000 troops. Ten days after I'm there, called everybody together in a gymnasium in Downsview, all the generals and the colonels in the front couple of rows and said, folks, we have a serious problem in this unit. And I love it when I was able to do that because their eyes sort of glazed over, oh my God, what's coming? I've been here ten days and nobody's disagreed with me yet. Now, every time I open my yap and I get halfway through a sentence, there's ten people rushing off to implement. I haven't thought it through that well. You guys are, and gals are all the experts in your areas. You have to tell me when I'm going off half-talked here. So you, the leader, have to create the atmosphere where people can disagree without being disagreeable and writing pay to the end of their careers. So I ask you, what other nation in the world creates a mother like that? And so the next time, and there will be a next time, when we're voted number one, don't apologize. People know something we don't. Thank you very much.